Hey everybody, Jared here from PPC Campaign Generator. Um, in this video, I'm going to generate a campaign and then show you how to import it into Bing Ads Editor. So I get a question quite frequently, which is, does PPC Campaign Generator work for Bing Ads? The answer is yes. And that's simply because all it outputs is a file, or you can actually copy and paste the results. And because of enhanced campaigns, nothing's really changed the same structure applies. It's still an account, it's still campaigns, ad groups, keywords, and ads. So um, I bought this software that was really awesome. It was documentation software. So for this campaign, I think I'm just going to create a really quick campaign here. Um, documentation, and I'll do software, softwares, tool, tools, and then I'm going to just put this asterisk, which is a wildcard within PPC Campaign Generator, and I'm going to generate keywords that look like that. I'm also briefly going to move that asterisk over here in the front of it. So then I'm going to transfer the results over here, and then I'm going to get keyword suggestions. And it's going to work getting keywords for me. We are at about 300 at this point. I'm just going to let it run, and when it's finished I'll come back. Okay, it's completed. We have 739 key phrases. And let's just take a look and see what kind of keywords we have here. Um, they're all pretty much around documentation, tools, and software. I don't really care what's in here. Let's just hit Add to Main Keyword List. And what we're going to do now is just group our keywords. But before I even do that, I want to find keywords that don't contain documentation. So I'm going to put this filter on, does not contain documentation, just to see if there's any junk that came through. And nope, every single keyword in this list contains documentation. And so what I'm just going to do is analyze the keyword density here within PPC Campaign Generator. This will give me a breakdown of my keyword list. And it's actually based on the settings here. I'll just remove that. And then let's look at two and three word phrases, for example, minimum of five keywords per ad group. And then let's just go ahead and save those changes and hit analyze again. And here we can see some ideas for keyword groups. So we have software documentation, software, documentation, software, free. So free, I may not want, if I type in free, we can actually add this as a negative keyword. But I'm just going to delete it for now because I don't want anyone looking for free software. Um, we have open source as well. Let's type in open. I'm just going to add this as a negative and that'll remove all those keywords from that keyword list there. And let's reanalyze our keyword list here now that those two things are removed. Code documentation tools, best documentation tool, development documentation software. So I'm going to do another thing. I'm going to say the ad group must contain software or tool in order to be considered to create a group. So when I hit analyze now, only potential keyword groupings with those words in them are going to display here. And this is useful when you know that your seed terms, you want them in the ad group name. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to group them. Create groups. Let's reanalyze the keyword density here. We'll say documentation, software, tools. Just create the groups. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete that. We analyze, there's nothing left. So now we have groups created here. We have API documentation tool, tools, software, and so on. So now let's just write some quick ads for it. I'm just going to go to the Ads tab, hit New Ad, and then headline I'll just say um, Documentation Tool. Let's copy that. I'm actually going to put the ad group name in the headline. And I'm going to have that documentation, we'll call it software instead. We're going to insert that into the headline. 
Don't worry if you don't know what this means. And then in this area here, I would say, you know, download the best documentation software. So that won't fit. So I'll just say the number one best documentation software. I tend to like to have a period at the end of line one. And then here I would say, you know, free trial download now. Something like that. Probably include a little bit more to utilize the space, but for the sake of time. And then for here, I'll just put documentation software. And I would actually capitalize these here. So this would be a capital D. This would be a capital S. And then for the destination URL, it's going to be whatever this is basically with HTTP. lowercase of course okay and then whatever you know I don't have an actual landing page this is all made up and then I can copy this to a new ad and then here I'm just going to say um, we'll just say we'll just remove the dynamic keyword insertion documentation software there we go so we have a static ad and we have one that's kind of dynamic so let's go ahead and generate the ads and then our ads are done so let's take a look and see what was created so best documentation tool, that's in the headline there. And we have our static ad right here. So we have our ads created. Um, if we like them, this is C documentation tool. This is probably meant to be like C sharp document, documentation tool. And let's take a look at the keywords. Yeah, we can see C source code documentation tool and so on. Um, and here we could actually drag and drop things around if we needed to. We could actually merge groups. So I notice like this documentation tool and tools. We could actually just drag and drop this into one group. Just look for duplicates here. We have code, documentation, tool, and tools. The only difference is they're singular and plural. So let's just go ahead and merge those. Documentation, softwares, and software. We'll just merge that group documentation tools go ahead and merge that with that and for the sake of time I'm just gonna call it a day um, so now we have our ad groups created we have our um, ads created and I mean I did this in a matter of what five minutes so it's it's not too bad either I mean the quality within the relatively short amount of time is what you see here so if you, I mean, you probably want to take more time, go through your keywords here. I'd go to the keywords tab and I would make sure. The thing I like to do is say the keyword does not contain the full word, right? So we're looking for keywords that don't contain the full word. And then I would say everything you do want, go ahead and type it in here. And then everything you don't want is going to be filtered in this list. So like we do want, we know we do want software, we do want tool, tools, and you can see how it's kind of narrowing it down. So the rest, the only thing left is softwares, plural, but that's not really a big deal. But yeah, that's what you can do um, to filter your list, and then you could obviously just select whatever you didn't want and just delete it. For example, we could say it contains full word say action script if we wanted to say we didn't want that we'll just delete that and it's gone okay but here we are we're going to generate our campaign here and now we have we have this basic structure which is the structure for adwords right well, what we can do is copy this let's go to bing ads editor and then we could actually go to the keywords tab here make multiple changes and just edit the headings so we have campaign ad group keyword this is the type or match type this will be the max CPC which is also the bid this is destination URL and that's it let's just go ahead and import that 
and that's going to import. And if all goes well, so we have one campaign created, 29 ad groups, 664 keywords. Now we should see the last imported results here. And that's exactly what we see. So that's how we get the structure into Bing Ads Editor. Now, for kind of the tricky part, we have to get the ads in. Let's take a look at these errors first. Let's see the view errors. It's just saying, saying your budget is zero dollars. So here you would just put in whatever your budget is, let's just say 60 bucks per day, and that error goes away. So with the ads and Bing Ads Editor, it's kind of tricky because description line one and line two are all one line within Bing Ads. So what you need to do is actually export the ads. Let's just go File, Export Document, whoops, File, Export Document, over here, we'll just export it as a CSV file. Don't change any of these parameters. Just hit OK. We're just going to do it to the um, desktop here. Done. Yes, you want to open up that file now. Just take a look at it real quick. And then here it is, you know, standard columns. So now we know where it is. It's on the desktop. So let's go to import from Google. Select this import from a file. And then let's go to desktop. And then we will choose the thing we just exported. Hit next. And here we can preview the information. This is line one, this is line two. So everything is going to import just fine. We shouldn't have any problems here. You can see it's importing. We have 58 new text ads. Close. Let's go ahead and review it. Let's go ahead and see what's going on here with the errors. Probably saying duplicate text ads. So, so let's just hit all view errors and duplicate text ad assigned to the group. So Bing Ads Editor clearly didn't recognize that, you know, this is a duplicate, so it's forcing you to actually delete it manually. If it was a smart program, it'd probably tell you it would probably wouldn't even have imported it, you know, but it's Bing Ads, so. so there you go. That's basically how you import your campaign from PPC Campaign Generator into Bing Ads Editor. So thanks a lot.